And welcome to Enzyme Mental. I'm Jason Carter. And today I wanted to tell you guys about something called lactoferrin, which is found naturally in colostrum. So lactoferrin is a unique protein that influences cell proliferation and differentiation. It functions as an immune modulator, but it's also antimicrobial, antiviral, and anti-inflammatory while also being an iron carrier, an antioxidant, and also a promoter of balanced gut bacteria. Lactoferrin was first isolated in milk, but it was also found in other secretions like tears and saliva. Its primary biological function relates to its natural affinity for iron, and because of this, lactoferrin is an excellent inhibitor of a wide range of microorganisms that require iron for growth and proliferation. A primary function of lactoferrin is modulating the immune response, and colostrum, which is the richest food source of lactoferrin, has been shown to be very effective in preventing the immune response from getting out of control. So orally administered lactoferrin typically results in an increase in total immunoglobulin levels levels present in intestinal fluid, and this typically stimulates the mucosal immune system. So how does lactoferrin defend against viral infections? Primarily, it achieves this by disrupting viruses from binding to cells. This action alone can stop the virus before it has a chance to cause any further problems, because if the virus cannot attach to and enter cells, it can't cause illness. Lactoferrin accomplishes this in two primary ways. First, it binds to the virus directly, blocking the virus's surface protein's ability to recognize binding sites on the surface cell of membranes. And also, it binds to surface sites on the cell's outer membrane that are targeted by viruses. There's a compound on cell surfaces called heparin sulfate, and this is often a common target for various viruses. Lactoferrin will bind to structures containing heparin sulfate, which then can prevent viruses from recognizing and entering the cell. Lactoferrin also has indirect antiviral effects, and part of these are activating several immune defenses. Specifically, lactoferrin activates natural killer cells and vastly increases their number. These natural killer cells, as I've told you before, are equipped to recognize abnormal cells, including those infected by viruses, and to eliminate them. This alone can help to prevent the spread of a virus in the body. Lactoferrin also stimulates the production of other antiviral compounds, including the signaling proteins known as interferons. One of the important ways that interferons promote immunity is to signal the surrounding cells that viruses are present and help activate antiviral mechanisms to prevent growth and spread of those viruses. Lactoferrin also helps to block the ability of viruses to reproduce even if they're already inside the cell. And this helps to limit the spread of the virus, obviously, which can potentially reduce the severity of the resulting illness. Lactoferrin has the ability to remove free iron and thus limit the growth or colonization of pathogens which require iron in order to proliferate. So because of this, lactoferrin has been shown to be extremely effective against a wide variety of pathogens, including salmonella, listeria, staphylococcus, and even E. coli. And also, lactoferrin reduces the severity and duration of enteric infections, and this feature alone actually limits the spread of disease. And also, like I said, lactoferrin can dramatically increase the bioavailability of iron because lactoferrin is an optimal transporter of iron. Lactoferrin is a natural antioxidant due to its ability to bind iron, and as an iron scavenger, lactoferrin prevents the formation of free radicals caused by the oxidation process. Lactoferrin also helps to balance inflammation by regulating potent stimulators of cytokines. And as we know, cytokines are substances that are produced by the immune system in response to infection and inflammation. Lactoferrin will actually regulate the immune system and in this way is able to limit inflammation and really balance the immune response. You can find lactoferrin on its own as a supplement, but I think it's best to get it in its whole food form. And again, the richest food source of lactoferrin is bovine colostrum. And while there are dosage recommendations for colostrum, keep in mind that colostrum is actually a food, so you can really have as much or as little as you need. And if you're looking to strengthen the immune system, you should really be taking it regularly. Thanks for watching. I'm Jason Carter, and I'll see you next time on Enzyme Mental. Stay healthy.